Now, after two months of consideration by TDs and senators, the regulation of termination of pregnancy bill passed all stages in the Shannon last night and will go to the president to be signed. Attention now turns to the introduction of abortion services next month. Health professionals have said it will take time for the service to be fully operational. Politically and socially, it's been a momentous year, culminating in the passing of the abortion legislation in the Iraq this last night. Work has been underway for some time to get clinical services ready to meet next month's deadline. It has been a huge challenge, but there is an incredible amount of work that has been put in by my colleagues who have been writing guidelines and by people in the HSE who have been working not quite day and night, but they've been working extraordinarily hard. Uh, I've travelled around the country to almost all of the hospitals, but not all of them, and uh, it's really impressive the amount of work that has gone on. Those involved in the establishment of the service recognise their responsibility in getting it up and running, but are realistic in light of the tight deadline. I would have liked more time. I feel a great responsibility for the woman who's currently pregnant, who is looking at, thinking that there's going to be a perfect service. It is a service that is going to start, that has to evolve, that has to be worked on, that we have to have, do a great deal of work. I feel responsible for her and I think her expectations need to be that there will not be a perfect service starting in January. Would she be able to avail of a service? I hope so. I very much hope so. The first working day in general practice is Wednesday the 2nd of January and because of the three day wait period, practically speaking, the first day a woman can access the early medical abortion pill will actually be in the second week of January, so after the 7th of January. So I think we have to um, discuss that and women need to know what to expect. A key tool for those seeking information will be the 24-hour helpline, which will also cater for instant messaging. Nurses and counsellors will deal with queries and give all options to women, including termination. And that service will be up and running from January 1st. It may not be the service I think that we would, you know, we would absolutely like. It probably won't be there 100%, but it will be certainly there for the vast majority of women. And I think that that's absolutely critical. Further legislation will be brought in next year in relation to abortion services. The Minister for Health has committed to provide for so-called exclusion zones around premises that are providing abortion care to women. Alva Keneally, RT News, Leinster House. Over three